A blazing streak of light cutting through the night sky took spectators by surprise on 2 April 2022, in the Nagpur region of Indian state Maharashtra. The event light up the skies and was witnessed by the local residents of that area. The videos were shared by spectators over social media immediately. Speculators categorized this unusual rare event as meteor shower. But a British astrophysicist, Jonathan McDowell cleared that this was not a meteor shower. It was actually a Chinese space debris shower that India observed. Chinese rocket, Changzheng 3B was launched on February 21, after the launch the rocket's third stage was left in elliptical orbit with a perigee of about 150 km. Every time the rocket stage went through the perigee, it lost energy and slowed down due to drag from atmosphere. As the rocket loses speed, the apogee is decreased until it re-enters the Earth atmosphere. Scientists was aware of the day when this rocket stage will re-enter, but it was impossible to accurately predict the time and hence the location. The excited spectators who thought it was a meteor shower were left disappointed when the truth came out. The fact that it was a Chinese rocket was later confirmed when some parts of rocket, which did not burn completely upon re-entry, fell over Indian state of Maharashtra. This image shows what appears to be a part of rocket, it is consistent with the third stage tank of Chinese rocket Changzheng 3B. The similar event was observed last year, when a Chinese rocket stage fell over Indian Ocean on an island of Maldives. The rocket stages are generally made up of materials which burn in atmosphere completely upon re-entry. Indian officials has asked for clarification from China about the materials being used in their rocket. But China has not reacted to this yet and is being non-transparent. China has been under criticism for being secretive about its space activities, which is leading to frustration in space industry. What do you think of these space junk falling on surface of Earth? Share your views with us in comments, and what do you think how the world should address this issue?